Choose the correctly spelled word. The word is exuberant. Of course I'm asking Maria. But I know my test isn't normal. She's not going to put both in my mouth. Who knows what she'll come up with next. Exuberant. We have it with X, XH, with B, with UV. And I heard Maria say once that it was a ah. The A last word. Yes, sir. Last word. Why are you so sure? Because that's how it's written. I'm going to do it like Paolo Lacerna. And also she makes me. Oh, uh, mom, the light bulb. The light bulb. The answer. What? Moni is without an H. Are you serious? Yes. Hey. Do you want me to tell you something? Up until two years ago I also thought it was with an H. My whole life I thought it was with an H. Oh, if you see it, donkey. <laughs> Next question. Choose the correctly spelled sentence. He says, I saw her. She saw her and left. The Last Word Last word Maria, Maria, you are very convinced that what was in the first question will happen to you. Well, I'll pay for another light bulb. How much is the light bulb worth? How much is the light bulb worth? That's the attitude. The answer is Good. Next question. Choose the correctly written word. The word is or the expression super rich. It has me between C and D, but it has put the yes. Between C and D, okay. Now we've ruled out A and B, let's concentrate on C and D. But let's go with C. How does the word sound? With a double, that is, phonetically it would say D so, C, not D why did I change my mind? Well, let's see the correct answer so as not to torment you anymore. It's useless. <laughs> the answer is Super rich. And why? Of course, this is something else that looks really weird, right? Because it turns out that we have the prefix. Yeah, you mentioned it, and we have a new word that is going to be formed thanks to the prefix su. Like super easy, super good, etc. Sure. The word su ends with an r. The other one starts with a single r for delicious, but when you put them together it sounds double. It sounds double because it sounds like rier vowels. Next question. How do you spell a number? Oh, Moni. How do you spell Roman numerals? 78,908. The D is not between A and B and now it would be 78. 78 in my logic. If 7 is 5.2, it has to be 50 with 2. Then it would be yes, it would be good. Both have 70, 70 and 8. There's one left over there. It's Maria, which is quite a construction. Right? You don't know them all, but I mean, honestly, I had no idea what it was. And you tell me, write it down. I have no idea how. But if you understand the concept, on one hand it works and on the other it doesn't. <laughs> Let's see the correct answer. Very good, Mari. And look, and clarifying that Maria doesn't use Roman numerals, I'll do it logically. Next and final question. Choose the word spelled correctly. Decision. B, B. B, it's the second one. Oh, now it made me doubt. No, yes, I decided with a C, yes. The first one is with a C, obviously. I'm going to do one for you. I'm going to do one for you. Son of a B, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. You owe me, you owe me. Last word. Yes, now you're doing it to me. No, wait, Monica. Correct answer. Correct answer. Decide. E.H. Mari, very good. 